there's really nothing quite like stepping out in front of a crowd at a football stadium, 50, 60, 70,000 people, and playing your music for them. And to take something that you wrote and came up with and workshopped and recorded and to sing it and to see it in that kind of a setting was unbelievable. My name is Blaine Larson. I hold a Master of Arts in Christian Leadership and I graduated in 2018. So I began recording when I was about 15 years old, real seriously, in Nashville. And I'll tell you, I'm one of the very fortunate people that picked up a guitar and started singing and had the opportunity to make a living for over a decade doing something that I love. But I'm sitting at my manager's office on Music Row. One morning he asked me, would you want to join a small group? There's this group called Search and we've got a, a little group that we do here in the office. I think it'd really help you. And I was going through a lot, just moved to Nashville, just got married, tons of questions, and I was as far from God as you could probably be. And so I said, sure, sound like a great invitation. I start going to this little small group, and I was in there for weeks, and I had heard the gospel through this group. And I understood Jesus came, he was God, he died, and he rose again, and the basics of the gospel. I didn't understand why. And so that was my question. Why would he do this? Why is somebody dying and resurrecting the center of your faith? That seems really odd to me. It was explained to me that day. It was for you, man, because there's something wrong with you. There's this thing called sin, and you need a savior. I and mean, it became real to me when I heard it and changed my life. And that was all because of a student that went here to Dallas Seminary, he came to Nashville, he started a group, and I was invited into it. And I come to Dallas Seminary years later, I'll tell you, it's one of the greatest gifts in my life. I got to come here and study and graduate at Dallas Seminary. If, if I was gonna boil it down to one takeaway, one thing, I left here with a much better understanding of the grace of God and what that means for my life and for those that I get to minister to. My greatest joy getting to serve Christ is seeing new believers. I mean, there's nothing, to me, there's nothing greater. I still remember what it was like to not believe in Christ and what it was like to live life without Him. And to get to get up every day and have a role in an organization where God is working and He's bringing people to Himself and we get to see people trust Christ and their lives change and they get to experience what we've all experienced. What else is better than that? <laughs>